stream is started. All the cats are in the house. Yeah, big time. Cup raising this. I'm thinking Red Matter or AC's have will go on sale soon. You're more like you see Red Matter. <laughs> see Red Matter or AC seven? I don't yeah. kinda, I don't understand people who like expect games that just came out two seconds ago to Yeah. Yeah. I don't just it's just so weird to me. Alright. Let's cut to the intro. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, let me pull these out here. You do kind of blend in a bit. Yeah, it's strange. There's all sorts of weirdness going on. You did last night? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. This is, this is something's very wrong. Oh shit, are we supposed to play tree and fall? Yeah. Something's very wrong. First of all, the problem is. Second of all, We have two microphones going at the same time. Last week we had no audio. Mm -hmm. Now we have two audios going at the same time. All right. Here, let me get rid of one of these. Stereo. Next week we'll be at three. Mm. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> obviously, don't know what I'm doing here. What, well, do, what, do, what are you doing here? Hello. Hello. Oh, that's way delayed. Okay, I cannot look at that. Monitor. Yeah, don't look at that. No, seriously. It's screwing everything up over there. How delayed is it? <laughs> like a good like minute or so. Holy shit! You, you know, you know, people have no idea what you're doing. Come on, oh. Jeremy. There he drank his coffee. Mm. The other Jeremy. Oh, my coffee's so far away. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's up, everybody? This is PSVR Gamescast Live, where we film live every Tuesday and bring it to YouTube live every Tuesday. Is PSVR Gamescast Live every Tuesday? Every Tuesday. Same. Shirt comments already. Woohoo! Yeah. To be expected. You're, you're, yeah. You're, you're like a, you're camouflaged into my Isn't video game I'm backdrop. I'm blocked in here. You can't see. Des didn't make it today. Yeah, yeah. So this is actually, uh, as, as part of the developing uh, Studio B, I've been going through my crap. I threw away about, well, not threw away, but I'm getting rid of about half my clothes. And this is a shirt of legend. This is the fish shirt. I've had this since high school, and uh, it was time to, to make it go away. So I decided I'd give it one last hurrah. Right well, on TV. a big hole in the back, which I'm not showing. Let's see. So, yeah. That's not a big it, hole. It, it, this I, is rayon. You tore the tag off or well, something? This is rayon. This will be, it'll be a big hole soon. Ah. I kind of wish we had the green screen up just so we could make part of you <laughs> I can, disappear. I can wear it when we uh, film. But, yeah. Nope. But yeah, so that's, this is, uh, so say goodbye. So to who else? Well, I don't know. Baker might know. But Baker, if you're watching this, Fish Road is going away. You're welcome. Oh, maybe one of them wants this, I, it. When I say legendary, this is a hated, legendarily hated shirt among my friends. Hello to really the one really person that Des might be talking to that probably isn't watching. Nope, <laughs> almost certainly not. Wow. Well, <laughs> in that case, let's say hi to everyone else who is watching. What's up, GameCats? How you doing? Thank you for joining us. PSVR Gamescast Live. Uh, I'm Brian. That's Des. That's Jeremy. Did we already do that? I don't remember. I, can't, uh, I, can't I think we went straight to the shirt. I think we went right to the shirt. This looks like a Picasso painting. Viewer takeover ran a little long, so I apologize for uh, getting the stream started late. Um, but hey, you know what? We're here, and that's that's all that matters. Uh, actually, what, right. what matters even more is that is that you're here. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. So if everyone loves the shirt so much. Oh, what God. if I put it on eBay? Will you buy it? Jay Meow. I, I think I think Thanks, if someone buddy. buys enough of the wristbands, you should just put it in the package with it. Just right? randomly yeah. package oh, them. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. What a surprise for somebody. They get that right in the mail. What the hell is this? They're yeah. like, oh my God, look at this rag he packed with this wristband. It's, it's been on Desert's body. Metcat? <laughs> Ew. I think, I think Metcat wants to be Matt's on your body. Metcat's already bidding on it, but Jay Meow just donated 99 cents right. for the shirt. 
Jamie, yeah, thank you so that, much for your donation. Awesome. Uh, sorry, dude, for uh, for not using your uh, introduction for this week's show uh, yet again. Uh, it doesn't. I, I was telling Jeremy and Des when they showed up today. It doesn't matter what time I wake up in the morning to get ready for this show. Uh, I always find myself twenty minutes before the show trying to get the show together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but let's uh, let's get a little housekeeping out of the way as we get settled in here. Um, no, oh, Michelle's not here. No housekeeping. No housekeeping. House, house, housekeeping. Um, Make sure you join our community over uh, on the PlayStation 4. There's a, yep. little, there's a little tab. I, people don't know this still. Yep. Where it says profile and trophies and all those other nice settings and whatever. There's a little tab that says communities. And if you go over there and hit that little magnifying glass for the search button, you can search for PSVR without parole game cats. Uh, and you will find us. Oh, yeah. You'll find a lot of fluffy fucking individuals over yep. there hanging out and talking about random and, shit. And fluffy fucking individuals. <laughs> Eventually, For, I, I, you'll think those, I think those are called furries. furries. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, so make sure you head on over there. And welcome to all. I'm, I'm also going to I'm also going to start making the community a, a very specific place to be asking very specific questions. Uh, mm -hmm. I know that some people in the chat or some people in the comments have been asking uh, to be kind of included in the interviews in the okay. in the developer interviews. Yeah. Uh, so what I want to do is start saying, hey, if you're in the community over there. Mm -hmm. And you, you, I want to hear your recommendations. I want to hear your questions that you want asked to specific developers. That's great. So, uh, like every Wednesday, I'll tell you the, I'll tell you who I'm interviewing the next that Thursday, mm -hmm. and then you have like 24 hours to, to like submit your questions. Nice. I'll, nice. I'll pick yeah. a few questions and then I'll ask the developer for you. Uh, so, uh, so that's if if that's not a good reason to join our community, I don't know what is. Yeah. Uh, this week, Tarsier. Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just—I just confirmed it while we were filming viewer takeover. So if you see me tomorrow on my oh, phone, so that's and why you had, I was like, "Why yeah. is he looking I'm, up time zone?" I'm like, "Sorry, I'm, I'm texting <laughs> Sweden right now. I apologize." <laughs> um, so, uh, so yes, we'll get jo join us on over there. So, to know that I just—I uh, just want to catch this. I'm picking up the to the top. I think it's only five ninety nine. Yes, you are. Oh, do it. Yeah, no, I got to check right. that sale, man. Let's, wow. Um, let's go on the PlayStation Apocalypse Store and check out the sale. Apocalypse Rider. No, 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 no! Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, it's no. Kev Gret for two forty nine. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and and to those of you who are asking, this was actually from Chess King. If you're old enough to remember that, story. of course, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do remember that story. I was yeah. thinking no, but yeah, no, I remember. I actually totally. remember the sign. Yeah. I, yep. Chess King. Yeah. And that, that, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Well, that, and, that, which, that was so descriptive. Right. Chess King, <laughs> which makes it even less sense. Like I, I just my favorite thing about this shirt is how does it exist. It wasn't like I bought it at some crazy Hawaiian store. It was at Chess King, which was, if you don't know, like the preppiest of preppy stores. Mm. Sure, but this is like Saved by the Bell era, yeah, Chess King. it's totally eh, Zach. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, this no, is this no, is a no, Zach. This is Screech. Sl th this eh, is Zach. Daddy, yeah. this is no, I don't know if Screech would do that. I don't know. I think Zach could pull off Zach just about anything. Zach has the confidence to do it yeah. in the hair. You know? Why was I wearing it then? Zach Attack, man. Yeah. Zach Attack. Uh, one, of the, yep. one of the greatest bands of yes, all time. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> all but right. Um, oh, thank you all for watching the live stream. It's a lot of people were commenting, I but I can't type them all. So yes, thank you for it. yes, sofa okay. chess king. You, you know, you know, it's you know, it's way easier than typing a response to them. Yeah. Is saying it? Hey. Yes, <laughs> I did type, and now I'm saying. But thank you, and I keep looking at the speaker. God damn it! All right, so listen. I, I know we, there's a couple more things I want to get prepared here as we as we dive into the show. Mm -hmm. um, so while I prepare and while I figure out what what games are on sale this week, uh, we have one of our weekly special announcement ba -ba -da. from uh, from from Grim Catnip the Game Cat uh, and actually Frowny the Game Cat or maybe just Frowny. I don't know if Frowny is officially a Game Cat or not. Um, but uh, but let's let's go check out the uh, the Catnip Games weekly tournament updates. Yeah, totally. Uh, so let me uh, let's cut over to that right now. My suit actually is made by Chess King. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The Frowny Game Cat here. With another episode of The Scratching Post. Thanks for tuning in. This year's first event, Grim takes us to the edge. Literally. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. That, uh, okay, I know this map. Y'all just follow me. Let me go first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just stay behind you. Okay. That's the best idea. Yeah. The game Rush VR by the Binary Mill allows you to take a leap of faith. As you dive off a steep cliff in a wingsuit, weaving around all the obstacles on a course down the side of a mountain, landing safely, 
at the campsite to a cozy campfire awaiting everyone's arrival that came in behind you. <laughs> that is, of course, if you didn't face plant right into the side of the mountain, kind of like I did. Um, no worries, though. I was still allowed back at camp and waiting for others still t in the race to join me. Whoops. Sorry. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of thirsty. Let me come over here and get my water. One second. Thank you. All right. As I was saying, this is a fantastic game. This is so much fun to play, and multiplayer allows you to invite your friends for even more of a good time, or even just get the chance to play with new people like I did. And I just, I had a blast with this game. We had a full field of eight participants in attendance. We had Big Fat Frog, 1909, your host, a God Cannon, the Livinator, Yours truly, Frowny One. Diz, Heavy Hitter, 1337, Mr. Fishy, 314, and the Master of Ceremony, Grim Catnip. It was a tie race for the top spots. So much, in fact, that an additional race was added to settle a tie break. So, let's get to our leaderboard. Coming in third place, Big Fat Frog, 1909. Second place, the Livinator. And first place, Diz. Yay! Congratulations, Diz. You received a $20 PSN NA code and your name placed into the winner's circle raffle. The Livinator and Big Fat Frog 1909 also both received a $10 code, courtesy of Catnip Games and. What's my car doing? Oh, okay. Courtesy <laughs> Catnip Games and our always awesome sponsor, PSVR Without Parole Games. The first month was successful with approximately 20 participants playing in the games and many other viewers as well, playing in games such as Starblood Arena. Uh, you know the real Dave Tyson. <laughs> what is up? <happening? laughs> <laughs> 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 I don't believe you. Imagine if you said that. Why would, like, you, no, you, just would like you? Why would you say that? Real Dave Stacy. Say something Dave right now. Say something Dave Stacy to say right now. <laughs> 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 some days, days to say right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm about to take a sip of this beer. It's a nine percent beer. It's a sour Ooh. ale with oh, nine percent yeah, okay, water go. and pineapple. Great. Am I not Dave Station VR? Yep. It's not. Yeah, that is so Dave Station. E Valkyrie Warzone. The sentry guns are I'm on him. Avoid them on your approach. I said I was on him. Bark. Thanks for watching, guys. This game, Rush VR. It's on for you know. Here's the thing, though. It. The start of season one can't happen without, you know, without some kind of thing that makes it memorable. Yeah. And no, there you go. Be better as they go right. along. Uh, so there we go. That's I mean, it's we, we made it memorable. Now. Remember, we're always open to suggestions, so feel free to put in your input. You know what games you would like to like to play. Our next prowl event will be February first at eight p.m. We will be playing Drive Club. Mm -hmm. Women drivers, right? <laughs> I know that's what you're thinking. <laughs> so you can go to your PlayStation Store or pick up this game and join us. Thanks again to all the participants, viewers, and of course PSVR without parole games. The Frowny Cat out. See ya.
hour of Skyrim a day. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Forget it. No? Doesn't work for you? An hour of Skyrim a day? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I, I filmed it 12 hours straight one day. I know, and well, I couldn't as, believe it. As far as like, oh, this is what I'm doing for the next six years now. Yeah, like, yeah. If you only play for an hour a week for his stream, yeah, yeah. and you're going to finish Skyrim, <laughs> that's 100 weeks. Yeah. yeah. Roughly. That's an excellent point. Yeah. 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 No, Skyrim's not next. I wonder what will be. <clears throat> Skyrim. Uh, all right, you guys. So, uh, so uh, while we had that little break there, we were taking a look at the PlayStation Store, and I started taking started taking notes, notes, yeah. and uh, and and like being like, oh, look, look at the games that are on sale. And I get to the letter B, and I already had ten games written mm-hmm. down. I was like, there's a ton of fucking games yeah. on sale. So I figured maybe before we even dive into everything that's happening this week, uh, we should. We're, I mean, when I say we're gonna blast through the sales, we're gonna blast through the sales. Fair. All right, so let's talk about this real quick. We got two MD VR football head to head edition that is twenty four percent off. Accounting plus is twenty uh, percent off. Along together, half price. Hmm. Uh, Apex Construct, half price. Yes. So far, this is. I mean, like, I love Two MD. I love. I love all the games we said so far. But Apex yep. Construct, must have. Yep. Yeah, it's a. That's a good. I yeah. actually own that one and then played it. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you should. You should I get back it. to it because they've done lots of updates. Yeah. yeah. Astrobot's twenty percent off, uh, which is you know for a fairly recent release, yeah. that's good. Batman Arkham VR, uh, twelve bucks. That's forty uh, percent off. Worth it. Later, oh, Bobby. Very much worth it, Bobby. Thanks for stopping <laughs> in, dude. Sorry, that was your five minutes. Yeah. Uh, hey, Bla- Madman. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation. Just because. Thank you very much, Madman. Thank man. you. We love you so much. Uh, Blast of the Universe. Seventy percent off. It's only four fifty. Wow. These are all plus prices, by the way. It's right. you know yeah. you always get a little bit extra, which you should always you should always have plus because in one sale like this you can pay for your yearly membership. Oh, easily. Easily. Uh, Blind is half price, and I think that's the right price for it. Bloody Zombies <laughs> is uh, half price, also a great price mm-hmm. for it. Bound half price. Yes. Yep. That that is one of my yeah. Get it. Bout of Blood is 40% off without plus, which is, I, I love that game. That wow. is totally underrated. Bravo Team, I don't care how cheap that game gets. <laughs> uh, Castle Quest is half, or Castle Storm, that's the wrong game. Castle Storm, half price, good game, but catch and release for 40% off, must have. Mm. Absolutely. Cat lateral damage, skip it in Cat VR, but play damage. it in non VR. Absolutely. Um, Code 51 Mech Arena, 40% off. Eh, they didn't quite update, update that game as much as I sh- they should have. But this one, Cold Iron, is 70% oh, off. That makes it $4.19. Wow. This is a windmill Jeez. slam. Absolutely must grab. I mean, it's it's a bargain at its full price. At this, it's, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool Painter VR is only 12 bucks at 40% off. Creed, Rise to Glory, 30% off. And, of course, that update just came out today, uh, making it even better than it was before. Yep. Uh, highly, highly recommend Creed. Uh, I feel like we should do an episode of Why We Love PSVR on that. Yeah. Somebody asked if Creed was worth yeah. getting, but yes. now, now yes. you know the answer. Yes, especially especially at 30% off. Yeah. Uh, I know Joe Monahan was going on about Darknet. Uh, I've played a little bit. It's kind of like Minesweeper in VR. 70% off if you want a cute little puzzle game. Uh, it's it's nothing crazy, but you'll get some time out of it. Derosne is 10% off. That's that's why bother. That's not Put, a much of a... <laughs> I yeah. mean, I love Derosne, but that's, yeah, that's like a... Why even bother putting it on sale at 10% yeah. off? Yeah. Come on, do 20%. Right. Uh, Drive Club VR is half price, $7.49. You were right. a ton of content out of that. It's still one of my favorite driving games. Drone Striker is 30% off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Eagle, <laughs> Eagle Flight is 70% off for six bucks. I think you need yes. to have that. Um, Evasion is half price, and that's probably the price it should have launched at. So right. it doesn't it doesn't feel like a good value to me because it should have been 15 bucks originally. Um, but if you're interested, I guess now it's time to pick it up. End space seventy percent off. Electronauts thirty percent off. You guys feel free to jump in anytime. I don't care. Eh, yeah, yeah, nothing special. Uh, Farpoint ten bucks half definitely. price. Oh yeah, yeah. The Farpoint. I mean, if you have an aim, this is definitely it's stupid. You should have it. Um, and even if you don't, go get an aim and play it. Yeah, and we've yeah. heard from people in the comments saying you guys are pushing the aim a little too hard. Mm-hmm. I've played this with the aim and DualShock Four, and it's great. Everyone should play it no matter what. I'm like, yeah, I guess if you're not going to get an aim. Play it no matter what. Yeah. But, you know, the, I think the aim is much better. Four plan, half price. Pick it up. Good stuff. Uh, very short, but very good. Uh, Guns and Stories Bulletproof VR. I, I was definitely lukewarm on this game. Mm-hmm. I thought it didn't really do anything special. Yeah. They have updated the crap out of this game. Just, oh, okay. you know, they're like just a whole slew of improvements. Uh, and at 40% off, I think we're finally in the right uh, territory as All far right. as price goes. We're rolling on H's. 
Heavy Fire, Red Shadow. Nope, I don't care how cheap that game is. <laughs> you will get five minutes of enjoyment out of it and go, why am I doing this? Here they lie, 75% off. It's only $5. Wow. Yeah, this is a game I wish I could play more in VR, but even flat, it was just really visually interesting and, and cool. So yeah, definitely worth playing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a game that gets overlooked all the time, right. including by us, because it's a launch game that I loved and then kind of forgot about. And that's me recommending a horror game, so that's that's yeah. something. I just love the look of that monochrome city. Yeah, it's so great. Uh, Home Sweet Home, another one we loved. Yeah. 20% off. Do it. Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, Hustle Kings is five bucks, but I mean, you know, like we don't have enough pool games. Infinite Mini Golf is half price. That was pretty good. For half price. Good. I'll take it. Um, oh, jeez. I can't skip pages. Just in Time Incorporated. Yes. I know you like this one. Oh, this is fantastic. And 70%, five bucks. God, <laughs> it's nothing. I, come on. Yeah, that's yeah. in my budget, but I already own it. Some of you spent more than that on coffee today, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, my I coffee's got so far away. One quick stop. <laughs> yeah. First, uh, Kev Gret was saying, I don't know if hey, it's fifteen percent off all PlayStation Network cards at Family Dollar this week. And Sweet. I wonder if that's okay. you know if you do go we to have Family, Family Dollar, Dollar here? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course we do. We do. Yeah, yeah several of them. So right. uh, yeah, if that's true, nice. And then uh, you save a few extra bucks on top of the extra bucks saved. Right. I'm gonna re- write this question down for uh, hey, Nasser Imad. Mm-hmm. We'll get back to you. Uh, he's got a question. All right, we're going to keep blasting through then. Keep talking, nobody explodes. <laughs> 50% off. That's a hell yes. Yes. Oh, uh, no, no question. Killing Floor Incursion. Uh, I thought that game was a little expensive when it came out, but for 18 bucks, 40% off, yeah, it's, it's really good. Knockout League is fantastic for half price. <coughs> Moving along, we've got Loading Human Chapter 1. Hey, it's 80% off. Wow. For, so it's $8. But my time will never get back. I, I, I yeah. you check check out our why we love episode on that. Um, I I think there is something to that game, and, and if you're like a if you like really slow paced um, <laughs> games, you might find if something. If you like really slow paced games where you backtrack for fifty uh, percent of the game, then yeah. this is the game for you. Hey, how long is this sale going on for? Um, oh, oh, it's only to the fifth. Okay, perfect. Okay, so get so, going. <laughs> you got you got one week to take advantage of these sales. Uh, Monster Monster of the Deep. It's half price, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, for half price, yeah, okay, maybe. Never outs forty percent off. I don't know. I could take take that one or leave it. No heroes allowed. VR is fifty percent off, and that is one of the most underrated games on the PlayStation Store. Okay. I I love that game, and I've not gone back to it since. It, it's like real time strategy, and 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 I'm like for for a genre that I'm not like totally invested in. Yeah. Man, I played that game until I beat that game, and then I kept playing it. <laughs> like it was great. <laughs> Uh, out, out of ammo is half price. Skip it. Yeah. Paper dolls is thirty percent off. Uh, if you can, it's really, yeah, it's okay. The control scheme sucks. That's a no. <laughs> the control scheme he sucks. Want to say no, but it's a no. It. Yeah. If you can deal with the control scheme, yeah, and get used to it, it's worth it. But it, but if not, if you're gonna give up on it in the first five minutes because you're like, oh, I don't like buttons, yeah, then yeah, skip it. Paranormal <laughs> activity is fifty percent off. That's probably a decent price for that. If you don't like buttons, you can go play Arcus Path. Yeah. I haven't made it through the door of Paranormal Activity. Pure Head Arcade. Half price. I really like that game. Pinball FX VR2. Half price. I really like that game. Okay. Um, Pirate Flight. Forty percent off. I like those developers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't. The, the game. The They're game's hard people. to recommend unless you get maybe kids or like you just really want a super duper casual game. Yeah. I mean, VR Worlds. That's the demo disc, or which should be a demo disc, but. Um, yeah, yeah, but for. It, it launched yeah. at forty dollars. Mm-hmm. The price got dropped to fifteen dollars, and yep. now it's on sale for four fifty. Yeah. Well, that's that's my point. This yeah. is where it should be at. This was the the, the disc that should have come with your you know uh, VR when you got it, yep. and now it's the, the price where it should be. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Psychonauts and the Ramus of Ruin for only four dollars? Man, if you're a Double Fine <laughs> or a, a Psychonauts fan, yeah. you definitely want to pick this up. If you're not, it's an escape the room game with not, a, lot of, a lot of content. But if you like that world, absolutely. Uh, There's re- been an announcement. Oh, mm-hmm. announcement. Supposedly, Duran fan said Kevgret's wrong. Uh-oh. It's the G- Dollar General. Dollar General. Oh, do we have those around here? I, the last time I saw one was in Tennessee, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to drive that far to say 15. <laughs> Race the Sun is only 70 percent off. I mean, it's only 30 percent of its original price. Uh, it's all right. Uh, Racket Fury, which is supposedly getting multiplayer support this okay. week, this month, this very soon. At some yeah. point. No, it's it's this. a great. Yep. It's a great ping pong, uh, ping pong game, table yeah. tennis game. The physics are spot on. And now it's only sixteen dollars. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Uh, let's see, uh, raw data, which we loved, mm-hmm. uh, half price. Wow. Yeah. Yep. And worth it. That's and awesome. Worth it. Jeez, there's so many that games. Sounds bad, actually, doesn't it? I take that back. Whoa, this whoa! Week. Indefinitely, the sale of the week. Resident Evil Seven Biohazard is 
half price oh. at fifteen dollars. Oh shit! And so of course it's half price off of its discounted price, right? right? Yeah. So I mean, it's my favorite game of all time 15. in VR. Fifteen. I paid sixty. Yeah, yeah. same. That's, yeah. that's so worth it. Uh, like it. Rigs is only five dollars, and you can use the money you save to buy your bark bag. Uh, Roller Coaster Legends are on sale. Uh, those are already cheap. Rooms the Unsolvable Puzzle. If you like slidey puzzles, that's great. Sculptor VR, which I think is the better one of the cool painter yeah. sculptor series here. Uh, it's forty percent off. That's probably the one you want. Shooty Fruity, which we love. Forty percent off. Yes, love it. Smashbox Arena. Unfortunately, nobody's playing it. Um, but if, if people were playing it, seventy five percent off would be a great deal. Space Rift is seventy percent off, which eh, it's tough to go back to. The voice acting is horrible. The deals <laughs> are on the PlayStation Store. Yep, on the place. That's what we're going through right now. The North American PlayStation Store. Uh, if you don't have a North American account, it's time to make one. Alejandro <laughs> Capellan. Yeah, as as we say, we we really don't have the ability or time to keep track of the sales on all the stores. Uh, it's so impossible. Um, so we we do try to stick the North American ones just because that's where we are. That's what we're all logged into most of the time. But yeah, you know, create your own North American account and enjoy the money. Bridge Crew, ten dollars. Or the loss of the money, but less. Yes. Of it. Oh my God, Bridge Crew for ten bucks. Uh, it's. A f- super fun multiplayer game. There's surprisingly more single player than you might think, especially yeah. with the uh, next generation um, oh, DLC, so which you probably have to buy separately. I'm sure. Des is um, the yeah. dentist on board. I remember somebody commented, "They're like, he looks like a dentist on the Enterprise <laughs> when you were wearing your shirt." Oh that, yeah, yeah. So definitely pick that up. Static, seventy percent off. Stop the freaking wow. presses. It's six dollars for one of the best games on PlayStation VR. All right. So if you are in such a bad situation and, and you're like, I cannot afford games at all. Yeah. Um, man, I, just talk to me. I will throw you the seven bucks. I, nope. That's not really true. Nope. But <laughs> no, no, you're not. Yeah, you need to. You need to throw it at the camera. This doesn't have seven dollars to spare. I really yeah. don't, actually. Uh, speaking of not sparing seven dollars, don't waste your money on the American Dream. Also, don't waste your money on Surgeon Simulator. Oh God, no. Uh, however, Super Stardust Ultra is awesome at five dollars. Stifled is pretty decent at twelve. It's. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing: like Surgeon Simulator is supposed to be like, oh, it's so bad, it's good. No, it's so yeah, bad. It's bad. Yeah. There's just. So here's what I'm gonna say: we got the Exorcist Legion VR, and apparently, so apparently. Mm-hmm. This this listing right here, which is not loading, oh, it's just the first one. The first one is half price at three dollars fifty cents, oh, but yeah. I can't. I don't know if the rest of them are as well because they're not listed on the store for some reason. Um, Jay Dow mm-hmm. just he sent me a text recently saying he played it, really liked it, and the rest of them don't seem to be on sale. Just the first episode. Uh, yeah. Really liked the first episode. Uh, then gets stuck in the floor at the end. Okay. So I, apparently not all the bugs are fixed. Yeah. Uh, it is there are game breaking bugs still in The Exorcist, and it, which yeah. really sucks because we did a Why We Love PSVR episode on it, and I painfully said that was a three, and I still stand by it until they fix this fucking thing. Wow. Yeah. You, you can't buy it. Maybe the game doesn't have bugs, but the house in the game has termites, <laughs> and you fell through the floor. Even at forty percent off, I can't re- recommend no. the Impatient. Thirty percent off, I have to recommend the Persistence as one of my favorite PlayStation VR games of all time. Yeah. Thumper, 75% off. Thumper. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of blasting through the rest yeah. of these. Torn is half price. Save your money. To the yeah. top. Don't save your money. $6, 70% off. That is up there with static. You need to buy this. If you if you have any similarity at all to our tastes, man, you need to buy this game. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, we can skip through Unearthing Mars. Ultra Wings yeah. is seven fifty though. You should definitely pick that up. If for some reason by now you don't own Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, A, what yeah. is wrong with you? B, go buy this thing at 70% off. Uh, I feel like I'm selling used cars right now. <laughs> um, don't buy V Robot because that thing is fucking garbage even at $9.00. Uh, whoever's texting me, please stop. Um, <laughs> my pocket's my pocket's been vibrating for the last like five it's minutes. A dentist, you need an appointment. Wipeout Omega Collection may be the deal of the day here at seventy percent off. Six dollars. Wow. You're gonna spend wow. so many hours in this game. This yeah. what what is going on? Is this the third anniversary of the I PlayStation know, this VR? Is nuts. This is crazy sale. These are crazy sales. So like insane. Twenty. I mean twenty thirty bucks, and you're. I mean there's four or five amazing games you can pick up. Yeah. And Wipeout. That was unbelievable. VR, I can't believe we just awesome. went through all that and saw so many great games for so cheap. I can't cheap. believe the people who just dropped the, the full money on um, Ace, uh, Ace Combat. Yeah. And like, what was that, 50 bucks, 60 bucks? 60. 60. And you've got, what, an hour or two of VR content in that? Uh, a couple, yeah, like an hour or two, yeah. So you could have used that money and buy, bought almost every game that we recommended here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ace, Ace Combat is phenomenal, though. I will say it's, it, well, it, especially if you plan on playing the non-VR version, you're going to get a ton of gameplay yeah. out of that. I'm just saying for, if you're looking at just VR content, yeah. and I mean, man, yep. you cannot beat what we just talked about here. Uh, all right, so let's uh, take a look at what Back came to the top out. Alone. 
Sorry. What's that? To the top alone. To the top alone. No, I mean, if you could you could go spend 60 bucks right now and get like 10 amazing, amazing mm-hmm. games. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous what's going on right now. Um, so I, I guess I'd love to say that I'm organized, but I'm totally not organized <laughs> at all. There goes all my money. Yeah. Yeah, games. pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, so, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at... I think the only only one real game came out last week, if I remember correctly, and that is this right here. Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. I, I, Hopefully I, the mic's off. I know. I, cl- I clicked. <laughs> I clicked to the video, thinking the mic would be off, and then I sneezed. The mic's still on. Uh, this is a fisherman's tale. Uh, disappointingly, only ninety minutes long, mm-hmm. but I got to say that's one of the only disappointing things about it. Yeah. This is this is a beautifully told. Um, Awesome story. GT referred to this as like the closest he's ever going to get to Alice in Wonderland, and I and I actually think he's spot okay. on with that oh, comparison. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, is just something that just can't be done in any other format. Mm-hmm. Uh, try playing this on a flat screen; it's just impossible. Um, but the the in in the way it makes you rethink how to solve puzzles is is, yeah. is pretty amazing. Uh, the animation's awesome. The voice acting's amazing. The the writing's fantastic. The art great. Too. Oh, amazing! And in VR, it just feels and looks so so good. Um, the puzzles aren't exactly very difficult, and as soon as you wrap your head around the mechanics, mm-hmm. it it's, it all gets really easy. Yeah, uh, that's it, cool. And when it ends 90 <laughs> minutes later, you're like, oh, man, I really wish this game was like twice as long. Yeah. But, you know, it, it launched at 15 bucks, and I think that the launch uh, sale uh, discount is, mm-hmm. is still going on, so you can get it for like 12 bucks. This is, this is definitely something you're going to remember for a long time. Yeah. 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 So we definitely recommend that. Um, but let's move along to this week. This week we've got... Um, this right here, this is Trainer VR, uh, and it, it sounds like a... Sneakers? It sounds like a sneaker, it sounds like a gym thing, yeah. uh, but instead what it really is, is uh, like a model train set in yeah. VR. Oh boy. Yeah, so here's the, here's the thing. It's They're using the wrong controller, so that's fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't find a PSVR uh, trailer for this. And I mean, it really, the music sounds... Oh, my kids have played doom, Roblox. Doom, 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 it's like doom, Roblox. Doom, doom music it's yeah. the wooden tracks it's like yeah oh it's like those kind of train tracks yeah those so are it, like the kid ones like like three-year-old right, yeah. ones like not the like the real ones that you'd snap together and have to plug it into your wall remember those train sets oh, yeah. the, like the real ones yeah. what they call those the really good trains lino lino oh, thank yeah. you yeah i played this fucking hour this morning okay. uh, i made a nice little train track and oh, what do we got? He's so little scared. dude you can build like little cities and stuff. It's mm-hmm. it's really cool and uh, and there's, there's there's some good variety. Uh, I I haven't figured out how much variety because because the menus are a little uh, strange. Okay. Like you go into the menu and like you can populate your you know your little city with with people. Yeah. Um. But and so you grab there's a guy and a girl in the menu and so then I put down like ten guys and ten girls and I was like now go make children, and and they just stood around and looked at each other and I was like you guys don't know how to do this. They can make children um, in the game. So and, and then I was like well, now I've got like ten identical guys and ten identical women and I what the game doesn't tell you is that you can like hover over them and push a button and like cycle through all the different character models. Yeah. And so like, I put down a deer, because in the, in, the, in the menu it only had one option for animals. It had one deer. But I put down the deer, and I kept switching. It was like, then it was a cow, then it was a bull, then it was a thing. And I was like, oh, there's a lot of options that the game doesn't tell you exist. I see. So now I'm like, I don't know how deep this game gets. Yeah. You know? Uh, it, and I, I don't think it gets terribly deep. What are we looking at? This looks nothing like this. this? This is where train building gets serious. You get like a first person Oh, view? this is a totally different environment. I don't know where this environment comes from. Look because I I That's only saw nice so far time. that plain white one, so oh. so I don't I don't know if there's a button to switch environments because this would be really cool. Yeah, remember dripping yeah. oil into the actual little trains so they had the the smoke. No, nope. no, I've never done that. No, no. Oh, yeah, there's a little can. I just I I've always. I, been... I was a slot car racer. Yeah, you, you did this. <laughs> yeah. I've done lots of geeky things and just I've never done the model trains. I've never understood the appeal. Oh, the early 80s? Well, like, my dad surprised me. One morning I woke up and I like literally had a fucking town. It was a huge <laughs> yeah. piece of plywood with... He had mountains with plaster and they did the grass. He had... I think I talked about this before. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. He had the different places, like establishments there and the train and bridges. It was nuts. Out of nowhere. Yeah. I had it for a few years and then it got thrown away. Uh, so Trainer VR is okay. Yeah. I, I, so here's the thing. I haven't... I haven't come up i haven't encountered any issues with it mm-hmm. uh, i was telling you guys though before like I, I built this whole thing and, and i had a couple trains going on the track and, and the next thing i knew it blew up 
I and I was like, this is, this is a wooden train set. <laughs> and like, I had an explosion on the track. Like, it was, it was like, and I looked over and I was like, everything, like my, my tracks were in different places and, and, and people were dead everywhere. And <laughs> are, are there <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what happened, um, but I'm assuming that I must have had two trains going in opposite directions on the track or right, something. Yeah, yeah. But like, I was like, I didn't know you could have explosions. So I'm going to spend more time with Trainer VR today. Okay. Um, also, I, I want to check real quick how much this thing is going for on the store, um, because because <clears throat> this is a ten dollar game up and down. Yeah, uh, and it's and apparently not even out today. Uh, what? Okay, this was on PSVR this week. I was pretty sure it came out today, but apparently yeah. not. All right. I'll have a review up soon. Uh, I don't think I don't think it gets terribly deep, and hopefully, it's not much more than ten dollars, if even that. Um, but also another game that's coming out this week. And apologies to anyone uh, who watched PSVR this week. There was a delay. Uh, this week, week. <laughs> not that kind no. of delay. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a zombie game uh, called something Deadland VR, uh, and I and I just got a message like a couple hours ago from the developers mm -hmm. saying we'll get you a key, but the game's not coming out this week. It, oh, it's been okay. it's been delayed. We'll let you know what happens. All right. Yep. The drunk gamer knows what I'm talking about. He had one where you had to put the oil in, and made little puffs of smoke. I'll, I'll make sure there's room at the sanitarium <laughs> for the drunk gamer in your padded They cell. won't allow us to have oil in there or train tracks. No, or... but you guys can reminisce about your past. Right. And um, <laughs> who said what? Uh, who's, Texatron. Who's said what? Hey, Texatron. <laughs> I can't share any uh, of my box fan, box fan facts right now. All I know is uh, it's very... Uh, what the I have fuck to are you talking about? Well, box fan facts? I, I, part of the live stream last night. Oh, yeah, I okay. saw the fan sitting there, and it just reminded um, me of like the old high school days. And you'd see the oh. the two fans next to each other, the Holmes Air, where it could be in and in and out, uh, the GE three-speed, three metal blades, five speeds, those kind of little things. Huh? Just, but, wait, uh, just wake I, me up when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not a very interesting topic. I found Trainer VR. It is on the store. Uh, it's not, of course, a typical fucking PlayStation store, uh, not listed under new... PlayStation VR games listed under new PS4 games for real. Fifteen dollars, a little on the pricey side for what I saw, but again, I didn't even you see that whole Western environment, so it, I'll let you know. Is it a, is it playable flat or is it only playable VR? As far as I know, it's only playable in VR. Uh, but let's check. Okay, where you go, guys. PlayStation VR required. They don't have someone on the stick just to do that. It's, like, no, I don't think that anyone works at the PlayStation Store. <laughs> I think people just p passing by like, volunteer their moment. Like, I'm like, right. oh, I have 30 seconds. I'm going to go work on the PlayStation Store. Yeah. Yeah, They're yeah. Like, just walking by the streets in San Francisco being like, oh, no one's there. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go <laughs> update that for them. <laughs> at that time, it's got to be how it works yeah. because there's no fucking person on the face of the planet who's getting paid for this bullshit. Um, no wonder why Sony doesn't like us. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, well, there goes those keys. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. Um, all right, so uh, oh, and one of course, one more thing. Obviously, uh, the the uh, the Creed DLC should be out right now. Uh, I mean, we can. I guess we can kind of. I think the entire Worcester Police Department's out. Well, they heard <laughs> right me talking now. shit about Sony. No shit. Right. They're like, we're after him. Uh, so, if you, if, I mean, thirty percent off. Creed's a really good game, and I mean, there's just been a ton of additional content pumped into this thing. Is this just the trailer for the game, or is this for the update? I couldn't. No, no there doesn't okay. seem to be. There's been a trailer for the last update, but I couldn't okay. find a trailer for this update. All right. Um, so this is a. Uh, this is just old school trailer. Yeah. You know, so, oh, go on. I was just going to be stupid. No, no. I think me. you should both talk at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the boxing games go, this is your. You're close enough to like a. Uh, a boxing simulator, whereas Knockout, you know, we've talked about before, is the, the Mike Tyson's Punch Out. This is, oh, yeah. you know, I really want to get a workout and actually try to figure out how to beat this person. Yeah, you, um, maybe they are coming here. <laughs> it's, it's possible. Jeez. It's possible. Somebody, somebody, put me out of my misery. Please take me away. <laughs> um, all right, here let's let's transition back to this scene right here. What is the timer doing there? I did not hey. put the timer on. On your market set, go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, Talk no, about no. something. All right. Um, what in the actual hell is going on right now? Hold on a second. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. There we go. I figured it out. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, so we talked about the sales. We talked about it, pretty much everything else. Oh, and uh, if you happen, if you live in a European territory, um, later this week, you're going to get Anyone's Diary. Ooh, uh, I think anyone's. This is, oh, yeah. that's someone's, right. Yeah. Someone's I, Diary. I was looking forward to this one. Yeah, this is uh, from World Domination Project. Yeah. Uh, the, these are very, very the, small, uh, independent Spanish studio. The mental illness one, right? Mental illness one. Yeah. Uh, 3D, 3D sort of platformer. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this this one looks very interesting. Uh, very curious to see how this one pans out. What? What's up? 
Piffin Yanni. Hey, Piffin Yanni. The, the A. I know. I'm going to find out now. Been watching your, thank you very much, been watching your show for a couple of years with minimum contribution. But you've contributed because you've watched. Here's some back payment love. Thank That's, you very much. That might be a lot of back payment, guys. Yeah, where is that from? That's Australian 200. Australian. What does that mean? Money from Australia. I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, it's, Australian is AU. Oh, it's AU. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you very very much. Uh, you know, I don't I don't have the chat running here. Let, let me let me fix that because I don't like not being able to see who's who's talking who's to us. Chatting it up. Yep. Piffin Yanni's. Yeah, where is that A? Whoa. Well, yeah, you're right. A, Australia's AU. So what is that? Yeah. Let's, bring, let's bring up my Creative Studio real quick, guys. I promise I'll be back on top here in a moment oh, oh, yeah, but oh, whatever oh. it is it's yes thank generous. you very thank much, you so much. Um, um, Piffin? Piffin? Uh, Piffin Yanni's alright that says um, huge um, thank you well, yeah um, very much thank you so much it's Piffin yeah Piffin yeah, yeah. alright alright okay I gotta pop out this chat and then I'll be part of the conversation Yay. again there we go awesome there we go I have the chat here now I can actually keep up with you guys there you uh, go. while you message uh so uh anyone's diaries coming out i think i want to say that uh i want to say it's the first but again i don't have any information available on yeah. hand nothing this is saying that's Julian. and deadland is uh and deadland is oh maybe yeah possible i don't know maybe it's austrian austrian there maybe you it's go. alaskan right. no, google's saying it's eight dollar sign is australia awesome thank you Wh very much whoa matt who's holding on Who's holding on? Matt's got a pee. Says got a pee. Hold on. Do you want us to hold it for you, Matt? Ooh, no, we don't. Yeah. Oh, right. stay warm. Four twenty is asking if I'm going to be playing that sense game. Is that the one you streamed the other day? So let me uh let me bring up the uh, horror sense and we can uh, we can talk be about it a bit. Suckered in somehow to constantly doing just terrifying game after terrifying game. Yes. That's what's going to end up. Nothing what do you happy. mean suckered into? We're just going to make you do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so, so horror sense, horror sense VR is, uh, um, this is, this is, this is fascinating because I, I didn't know how this was going to translate coming home. Yeah. Uh, because this is in Japanese arcades. This, it runs on the PlayStation VR hardware and, and basically you play red light, green light with a demon child or a child possessed by a demon. Um, in, in like a haunted house, basically. Okay. And, uh, and all you do is push the circle button to walk forward and let, let go of the circle button to stop moving forward. And that's pretty much the entire game. Um, it gets huh. tougher as you progress. Okay. Um, but there are all these things jumping out at you and scaring you. And you're listening to the little girl go, da da and then that's like the red light, green light song, I guess. Um, and she turns her head and looks at you and da during that last syllable. And you have to stop moving. And... On the third level, yeah. there's a timer that's ticking down, and you have to get to her before the timer runs out. Oh. And there are also collectible papers that give you more time. Okay. Like, in the first two levels, you can pick them up if you want to if, or not, but it, that timer on the third level only extends time if you pick up those papers. Oh. So, so now, and, and you, but on the third level, when she turns around and looks at you, I'm too stressed. You already. can't even move. So like, you can't. You have to hold still. Oh. So even when bats fly at you and she's looking at you, you just can't move your body at all, Terrible. or move your head at least. Terrible. It's, it is. It is so stressful. Yeah. But it's so much fun. I, I'm like giggling and laughing the whole time <laughs> because things are trying to scare you. They're in. There's, the re, there's actually a reason behind the scares. Yeah. Is because they're trying to distract you. They're trying to make you move. They're trying to do anything in their power to make you not complete this game. Yeah. And if you just if you just hold steadfast and you just pay attention to that little girl and you listen to her sing that song. You can do it, but man, is it difficult to pay attention? Yeah, this is this is one of my new favorite games for sure. Now, does it hold up graphically? Like this, this it's beautiful. Good here. Okay. It is beautiful. It is so dark though yeah. that like there is some screen door effect going on. Okay, uh, but besides that, it is uh, it's ridiculous. I noticed that actually. Why when I, I rewatched, I, I I went on and looked at the live stream from last night, and there were I it looked like the blinders. What do you call it? Were on the stream for the view. On when I was watching it on the the phone, the live stream from Resident Evil Seven. I don't know. How come it does that that appearance? Did it look like that live streaming last night? You don't mean you don't mean the black corners. It, it looked like a, a, the whole thing was through a, a circle when I was down in the darker. So you've never watched the PlayStation VR stream before. <laughs> I did, but it didn't have that view no, on well, it when I. Every PlayStation VR stream has the black corners. Everyone. Maybe it's not what I'm talking. It looks like a bottle soda, like a, a circle. And yeah. everything around the circle is severe. Like the corners are cut out in black. Yeah. Yeah. Every PlayStation VR stream has that. Every time you stream through your PS, 
VR, every time you stream to your PS4 with your PlayStation VR headset, you Maybe get those black corners. I just never noticed because it was a dark environment and then it stood out more. Because I never noticed. Because you didn't see it in the headset. No. No, so that's all it was. Yeah. yeah. Huh. All right. all. So uh, while Pocket that's going Monkey. on, we have got Pocket Yeah. Thank you very much, Pocket Monkey. Holy crap, Pocket Monkey. Here's everybody is so generous today. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for all your generosity. Well, we, we should read the comment. No, that's, that's <laughs> absolutely. I was trying, trying to bring the chat up while, uh, <laughs> while I was being nice. Uh, he writes, uh, can, can we all give it up for King's hilarious commentary during his RE7 streams? Please play oh, Horror Sense. Uh, hmm. Dude. It'll be maybe next. Who, who, who You were telling a story about the about this kid who wanted to... <laughs> Rent a game from you. Yeah, fucking Bernie. What, yeah. what Bernie? What what game did he rent from you? It was Batman. It Batman. was the Batman the that came soft. out. You know the Tim Burton one with Jack Nicholson and, yeah. and Michael Keaton. Yeah. yeah, it was that game. You know, and he borrowed that one. Is NES? It was NES. Yeah. Okay. And I had a sticker. I I remember getting a sticker collection of you know like you know the eighties. It was stickers with your name on it, different sized versions of your name and different colors. Sure. Right? So I remember getting those from school during the Scholastic Book thing so that I could put them on my games and label them. So uh, I had my name on that game. I do recall that too. But yeah, fucking Bernie. He, uh, the old lady Thelma that lived on the third floor of my buddy's apartment. Um, well, his parents' apartment. She, that was his, her grandson? Yeah. Okay. And he came around once in a great while. And yeah, so one particular time, I had this Batman game because I, I was at my buddy's house. We were playing it there. And because um, when we were kids, I would have the map for Zelda, and then he would play, and we'd play for hours, and then I would do the playing, and he would do the map, and we finished the game, and blah blah blah. Right. So, anyways, <laughs> yeah, Bernie wanted to borrow it. You're my know him enough. Uh, Matt's leaving. See you, Matt. See Thanks you, for stopping in, dude. And the prick never paid up, and he had it for like two weeks because he only visited once in a while, so he took it and he left. I was like, what? What's this? <laughs> he was gone, and then when he came back, yeah, he, he's literally. I remember. Where I was standing outside, my buddy and Bernie and him just being like, this is what I owe you. And he just spit. And he made that sound, too. That wasn't just me <laughs> making up the sound. I'll never forget it. It was like, I, I, I was my first experience with like an older person that was a dick to a kid. <laughs> uh, Duran fan VR, the game cat. Just, uh, he says, could, could be my senility, but does Jeremy only own one move controller? That was the running joke for such a long for time. Very that long. Only owned one. Yes. And uh, then we finally got you a second one. It wasn't uh, a joke. It was an still, actual fact. He still, he's, he still hasn't used it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah actually, he, he still he still plays Bravo Team with a DualShock 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, and the fact that you're still playing Bravo Team, we won't even have to have that conversation. I just deleted it. Two day, <laughs> I swear, on my console. I'm going cold turkey. Yeah. Yeah, Adam Keith, we just ran through the entire PlayStation store. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's in Creed for 20, Drive Club for 8. We just ran through every single sale. And yeah. uh, what an amazing... Yeah. You, you need to buy to the top. You need to buy static. Mm -hmm. Were there any other must-buys? I, I would say just in time, but I think that's just more of a just me thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely no, that to the was top. fun. And, I, I and of course, it. Resident Evil 7 for $15. Oh, yeah. No yeah. doubt. My and, favorite and game out. of all time. Wipeout for 6 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Every everyone just throw money at just, at, just at PlayStation. It's, yeah. and maybe they'll accept me um, for maybe they'll like talking. me if I give them money. And maybe, maybe they'll Wait, find we, should, we shouldn't make fun of that model. <laughs> no, 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 we don't want to, we don't want to get involved in that. All right, so guys, what we're going to do right now is play a little game of should we or shouldn't we? We put ninety wow. seconds up on the clock. Put the clock button on the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. What's up? That's what yeah. it comes to. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's nuts. The way that Jeremy <laughs> likes it, and that's our time to tell you, the loyal game cats, whether well. you should or should not be playing and or watching the things that we have been playing, or in Jeremy's case, watching. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Right. Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> well, you mean let's get it over with? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. Let's find a timer here. On your mark, get set, and go. Well, <laughs> besides Resident Evil 7, yeah, no, no games. I did finish The Punisher Season 2. I watched the whole goddamn thing finally. I had 28 minutes left the other day when I had to go to work. So when I came home at night, I finished it. Sunday, actually. And uh, I got to say, it's definitely a should you. It's worth it. It's free, of course. Um, it's a little different. I'm not going to give spoilers out. Um, compared to last season's uh, Punisher, it's um, definitely a little bit more slow-paced. But um, the story is not as... Complicated. I don't know if the last one was complicated either, but um, I just got to say it, it was an all right story. It wasn't anything mm -hmm. too deep. But it's the Punisher. Is the story more involved than bad guy, kill them, new bad guy, kill them. <laughs> yeah, and I, I did like 
Pilgrim. That that character, I liked him. They should have had more of him. But um, how many are you going to balance? Are they going to keep going until they I fall? Know, I'm, I'm terrified. I, yeah, no, I'm all about it. I just realized it. nobody can actually see this wall. <laughs> so I was right. like, but people are just going to be like, how, how, how many things is he just going to fall off the wall? <laughs> That's true. Wow. There, there's some collector out there who's freaking out right now. Mm, well, every time he turns the show on, he's probably like, look at those games. Well, yeah, but just like treating these with so much abandon. Right. Oh, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Actually, I, I hate. I kind of hate my whole Amiibo wall. Why? Were those, are those even a collectible? Those? Are I, I don't know. They're, when new ones come out, people are... They used to be back when I was... Yeah. yeah. Should Boy, you? You really wasted that <laughs> <time> <laughs> seconds. Thank you for the help, Ryan. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Yes. Um. So uh, so, so Resident Evil 7 is, is, is a should we? <laughs> oh, yeah. For $15 right now, especially yeah. unbelievably so. Okay. I mean... Even if you only played it for an hour, like if yeah. last night was my only experience with fifteen dollar Resident Evil purchase, absolutely, right. without I, a doubt. I, I, would, I would like a I would like a recap of your experience from last night because you played for about an hour. Yeah, and uh, and you made it about seven minutes into the game. <laughs> yeah, because you, by all means, <laughs> I wouldn't even know if it was missing. <laughs> um, so uh, <clears throat> it, that that's the one you want. I didn't know what it was. Although okay. I do like Pikmin. Well, that was a good game. Pikmin's, Pikmin's a great game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so were, were you, did you get frustrated? Were you were you irritated because like, I mean, especially with people watching you, did you ever feel like you're like, I gotta make some fucking progress here? Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, it was like I, I got that thought like, Jeremy, you gotta make some move because I don't know what's happening. I, I couldn't yeah. see chat. I I, I had <laughs> no idea if people were like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you know. No. While we, we, were, we were we were fine. It. We were just having fun <laughs> listening to you talk. <laughs> So that's why at one point I'm like, okay, if I don't make it past it, I'll make a little progress to get past this point for the next stream. But um, I honestly was so into it and so determined to make it past that damn area. Mm -hmm. But I also could not fathom just leaving them behind and going past, you know what I mean? And just progressing to do it. I wanted to take the motherfuckers out. What was yes, and that, and that was that. I was going a little crazy watching you. And it, it's very like, un Resident Evil ish of me to waste my ammo like that. Mad, Madman was asking me if I was cringing while I was watching. Yeah, you. and I was and I was like, I'm not cringing because I, I hate when people watch me play a game. Yeah, and and, and say, oh, you're doing this wrong, or yeah, you yeah. know, like here's how to do it right or whatever. I'm like, I'm like just play it and enjoy it the way you want to play it. Mm -hmm. I was like, but but man, oh man, yeah. I was like, you were trying to take down every single enemy Everyone. and just putting like. You, like you like every single bullet you had and every enemy all was like, gone. It's like I don't. I was like, how is he gonna even like progress? <laughs> right. I know. You know. I was like, and you then you ran out of ammo. I was like, I don't know what he's gonna do. Yeah. Because right? the enemies aren't. They're, they, that wasn't the last enemy. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yeah. Oh, believe me, I've played Resident Evil in the past, yeah. and I'm mostly I'm like, no, 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 just go by him. You cannot shoot a fucking bullet. You got to save it. Yeah. And last night I was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you were intense. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what happens. To take out your aggression. It's different. I guess playing VR Resident Evil just mm. gives a whole different flair. It's like I cannot turn my back on this thing being sure. alive. It yeah. needs to die. I had a ball. I thought sure. last night was a fun run. Nice. Yeah, no, it's fun It's fun watching you, even when you don't really make any progress. Uh, but it, it did clue me into the fact that this will be a 200-part series. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll, so, I'll do a little research next time to make a little... I don't know. Yeah, Should I? Whatever. Shouldn't I? I don't know. Should, yeah, shouldn't you? No. Yeah. You ready, Des? <laughs> well, I just, I just like this comment. Nasser Ahmad, I got Bravo Team together with the aim controller. It is shit. <laughs> and then, uh, a couple comments later... Uh, uh, Piffin, thank you, Piffin. Hey, hey Piffin. Piffin. Without parole, did warn you. <laughs> I mean, we did our best. Yeah, you know, so like, you can lead a horse to water, but yeah. um, there, there are there are plenty of defenders of that game, Jeremy. Yeah. And there are plenty. There of are. All right, one or two of us. Desert, on your mark, get set, go. Go. Uh, so this is going to tie into the sale and to uh, last week's stream with Amanda. Uh, Cold Iron. Mm -hmm. That is my 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 recommendation. It's a game. You know, I've always like. You know, it comes up in conversation. So, oh yeah, that, that's a great game. You should pick it up. But actually, getting back and um, you know, after she did her, did her stream, I played it a little while again. It's like, oh yeah, this is a really great game. Um, you know, when it first came out, it was a little bit, a little lacking for content. Let's say there mm -hmm. were some some issues, but there was a massive update, and now it's on sale. So yeah, you absolutely should buy it. I don't have a timer running, do I? Nope. Okay. <laughs> that's right. uh, so we'll, no, you talk as long as you want. Yeah, I'll just yep. I'll, I'll be really quick. So that was the, the big one there, and it's on sale now too. So. You know, it's timely even. The other one is Solo, um, my, my non-VR. Actually, sat and watched. My, my son was homesick yesterday, so we, we cranked up a movie. I'm like, oh, let, let's check this out. And I gotta say, I was surprised at how good it was. Um, it was something that notoriously had an, an awful like uh, production history. 
change directors. There were rumors about, you know, Aaron Eisenberg having to get like an acting coach halfway through and all this stuff. Um, but ends up, it's just a lot of fun. It is just good old fashioned Star Wars fun. Uh, if you get over yourself a little bit and say, oh, it's not Harrison Ford, well, you know what? It's not. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's, it's, it was good. It was enjoyable. I'd watch it again. I can't say that about Rogue One. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> chime in too much. Yeah, go, go. Besides, I had the same thought. Like when, when we started at the theater, mm-hmm. theater, huh? theater, and then uh, you know we left. It was basically that was the same thought. It's like if you can take all of what comes after, you know, yep. Han, you know what I mean. It just separate it. Look at it as like a, a story in a Star Wars. Mm-hmm atmosphere if you will yep. it wasn't bad you know I know it doesn't all add up but you can't really right. dig into it no, just... it's, it's a fun heist movie yeah basically. exactly yeah which is a genre I really like so yeah me too uh, <clears throat> I apparently my timer's not working so on your market set go uh, obviously I played Dado Masan Ga Koranda and that was awesome I'm like really enjoying that game yeah. uh, and I'm, I feel like I'm getting really good at it uh, the, the last level is fucking ridiculously tough um, I also checked out I finally checked out the uh, the Kingdom Hearts VR experience oh you did yeah I, I mean I downloaded that from the Japanese store last week uh, still no North American release date on that and, and don't don't get super excited about it okay. uh, there's not a lot to it uh, it's basically just you're sitting there are you're basically sitting in the gummy ship uh, and you're looking at Donald and Goofy mm-hmm. uh, and they are beautifully rendered in VR uh, and, but they're speaking Japanese and that, that's interesting to hear those voices <laughs> but they sound exactly the same uh, and, but you're just sitting there and you're watching them talk and then, and then you're, uh, and you're sitting on the beach a scene in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 I believe mm-hmm. sitting on that tree with, you know, your, with your friends and I'm, I won't even name who your friends are because Jesus it's been so long since I played a Kingdom Hearts yeah. game I don't remember who their names <laughs> um, it's, and it's cool but like, again it's like one scene in VR with very Playstation 2-ish kind of graphics um, and you're just kind of sitting out there and watching 2D projections out in the sky and on the ocean and stuff. Oh, and yeah. it's like, okay, cool. It's just like kind of a, you know, a half-ass thing. Um, and apparently it's only half done because I guess the rest what? of it's not coming out for another few months. Um, it's okay. Don't. I mean, it's not something you want to make a Japanese account to go download because it's not very interesting. Yeah. Um, but who knows? Maybe the second half will be better. And it is free, so I'm not going to mm. give it that much. much. I, I was expecting to wield a keyblade. Like yeah, I, right. I had my move controller out, and I'm like, let me swing a keyblade. Yeah. And they were like, no, you, you just you just had to push an X button. I'm going to have a nice moment here, yeah. like a Final Fantasy moment. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. No no complaints. All right, guys, here's, here's the deal. we got about a half an hour, okay? Okay. Yeah. And, and the reason we kind of rushed through the first half of the show, mm-hmm. uh, with the exception of Grim, Grim Catnip's uh, Catnip <laughs> game update. Uh, so sorry. I, uh, I, I, need to, I need to start paying more attention to that whole thing. Yeah. Um, is because it's because we promised Alessandro last week yeah. that we would play video game true or false for the first time in about a year and a half. Very is, is long he time. Yeah, he's here. Oh, he, I'm sure he's been asking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so, so if you don't know what video game true or false is, I think you should play along at home. Okay, because yes. go back through a back catalog. Do you remember the whole it. thing? I don't. But well, let's find out. If you, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I so, remember. So here, here's how video game true or false works. Well, let's see if we can remember. Take a line. I've paper. never played. What, well, <laughs> no, no, li- I played once. I listen, played listen once. to the directions. Yeah, <laughs> one of us plays the role of host. Uh, that'll that'll be me. Uh, but I'm also going to play along. I have not looked at the answers. Uh, and in in the role of the host, come up with ten games. Some of them real. Some of them are fake. You have to come up with a, a platform it came out for, a name of the game, uh, a year, and then a brief brief description of said game. Now, you want to pull out a piece of paper, Jeremy? What kind of paper? Oh my God, that's right. Uh, well, we always went to parchment, didn't we? We, we, you and Michelle did. Yeah. Yeah, I got creative. You did get creative. You guys are boring. Taking a uh, one of those. Grab things. a piece of paper and, uh, and and number it one to ten. And all you're gonna do is I'm gonna after I read the description of the game, you're going to write true or false, T or F, true or false. Video game real or fake? Video game true or false? Video yep. game real or non-existent? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and and that's and that's how it's gonna work. I didn't write these out. We used to. It, this used to be the bane of our existence. Writing oh these God. things out. It was t- and, and then yeah. Alessandro Andrew took up the uh, so the, many took up the mantle and started just sending us list yeah. after list of list. Yeah. Of, uh, so some of these are real. Some of them are fake. Video game true or false? Let's do this. Number one, squashed. This is a 2016 mobile game. Uh, described as the President of the United States is also the greatest professional wrestler in the world. <laughs> From a script by comedian and noted wrestling fan Ron. Bunches? Bunches, yes. Okay. This RPG oh. features gameplay similar to the Ace Attorney series. Try using legal arguments to get your legislation passed. But if the Senate and Congress won't comply, break out some hammocks, no, hammer locks, and suplexes to get these political suits in line. Are we allowed to give commentary or we just do our, do our answer? 
No, no, no. Do your answer, you and then you answer. give commentary during the during the voting ah. phase. Uh, squashed. Number one is squashed. Okay. All right. Here we go. Number two. Number two is Count Ducula in No Sax Please. We're Egyptian. Number two is Count Ducula in No Sax Please. We're Egyptian. This is a 1989 Amstrad CPC game described as Count Ducula with his servants Igor in Nanny has brought their European-style castle to ancient Egypt in search of the mythical sax, an ancient Egyptian saxophone with magical powers. The sax is hidden in the pyramid of the tombs of the pharaoh up in Adam, oh God, oh, up in Adam, oh, yeah, up fucking Adam. Christ. Deep in the burning desert, players must explore the pyramid, solving puzzles and collecting useful items while avoiding mummies, falling rocks, and evil crow brothers. I'm closing this. If People the count is things. touched by any of these enemies and he is frozen and the castle's clock advances by an hour. Jesus, brief descriptions, alas, <laughs> brief. <laughs> what, he wrote this how long ago? He was never uh, brief. Did, I, I had to go way back in my, yeah, this, so. is, this is like two years back. He right. was always very thorough and they yeah. were always like, Count so Ducula, real yet so fake. Count Ducula in No Sacks, Please, We're Egyptian. I don't, I'm going to regret this one. God damn it. I yeah. know. <laughs> All right. Number three, the greatest night in history of our sport. Number three is the greatest night in history of the history of our sport. This is a 2005 Windows game. This fan-made homebrew wrestling game using a modified version of the WWF No Mercy engine developed by AKI features a robust roster of professional wrestlers. Is, are these all, is a wrestling theme going on? Uh, remember we used to stick to themes? We did. We had we theme yeah. shows. Yeah. But both real and imagined to choose from. The Rock, Thunderlips, Mike Hagar, nice. Uh, Randy the Ram, Bonesaw McGraw, Nacho Libre, and more. Nacho Libre. Indeed. What year? Uh, 2005 Windows game. All right, number four, a life M36 planet. Mother brain has been aliving. Aliving? Number four is a life M36 planet. Mother Brain has been aliving. This is a 1987 MSX game. You have been sent to the planet M36 by your superiors on Earth in order to find out if it's suitable for human colonization. However, you soon discover that the Great War ravaged the planet 200 years ago, and due to an alien, no, due to an evil creature known as Mother Brain, you need to navigate the harsh terrain, caves, and labs to find out what went wrong and hopefully put an end to Mother Brain's reign of terror. Along the way, you encounter villagers with helpful citizens, no, villages with helpful citizens, shops to buy supplies, and inns to rest in. Number four, a life M36 planet, Mother Brain, has been aliving. But a li why is aliving a word? Or a living. No, it's not. A living. Okay. So that's, it's either, no, no, no more commentary. Number right? five is WWF Betrayal. Number five, WWF Betrayal. This is a 2001 Game Boy Color game. Choose wow. from one of four WWF superstars, The Rock, Triple H, The Undertaker, or Stone, Stone Cold Steve Austin, who have learned that Stephanie McMahon, a WWF manager and daughter of company CEO Vince McMahon, has been kidnapped. Traverse six stages in search for her as enemies, as enemies, referees, street punks, security guards, and even WWF superstars try to assault you with punches, kicks, drop kicks, or various weapons scattered throughout the stages, such as steel pipes, nightsticks, 2x4s, and others. Jeez, where's Hacksaw? Well, it's a game. One, he's retired by then, right? Done. It's a Game Boy game. There's not enough room for Hacksaw. You know, he came to Bocado once. Uh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this Bocado thing is. But number yeah. six <laughs> is Ninja Grannies. Number six. Ninja Grannies. Ninja Grannies. This is a 1989 ZX Spectrum game. In this one-on-one -on -one fighting game, you control dear sweet Mabel. But don't be fooled. She is no ordinary grandmother, but yeah. rather a vicious killer on the road to ninja stardom. Face off against fellow geriatric brawlers like the best... Like the, the likes of Bertie, Edith, and Ralph, through levels of increasing difficulty competing in fighting venues that include the nursing homes, bingo, oh, the bingo hall, in your quest to become the world's best martial arts pensioner. It, I had to read that word like three times before I said it. We have yeah, that come pensioner. Out? pensioner. 1989 on the ZX Spectrum. That is number six, Ninja Grannies. Are you guys actually are you guys playing along at home? This is weird. I'm, I'm not, not lifting this yeah. up to see. I don't want to see any kind of... Right, any hints. Oh, true. Yeah. Proof why. Number seven, Ringside Angel. Number seven is Ringside Angel. This is 1990 Sega Mega Drive game. Many girls in Japan have been have dreamt of fighting in professional wrestling federation, but only nine have the burning spirit to fight for the five major... Titles. Oh my god, my printer's dying. I thought it said titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cut off in just the right place to make it look like that. 
the five major titles of women's professional wrestling. You select one of these nine girls to do battle in three modes of play, one-on-one -on -one matchup, participating in a playoff tournament or watch mode, allowing players to watch fights without participating. Besides the traditional moves, the wrestling style of the girls allows punching of their opponents. Mm. This is called... Oh, where'd it go? Ringside... Ringside Angel. Angel. Okay. What number was that? Number seven. Man, okay. this is really hard. This yeah. is really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, well I, I, at this point, I feel like all of my answers are wrong. Yeah. You know? no, always. I forgot the feeling I used to get while playing this game. It's so stressful. Mm. Number eight is Mast. Number Mast? Eight, Mast. M-A-S-T. Okay. It's a 1995 Windows game. You've been shipwrecked and washed up on the shore of a lush tropical island. The only inhabitants are 13 of the biggest breasted women you've ever seen. I think there's two themes going on. I was going to say, where's the wrestling coming to play? And you'll have to please them to get back to civilization. Oh. That is, if you want to. Oh. Filmed on a location in the Caribbean and featuring some of the world's top adult stars, uh, Danny Ash, Tawny Peaks, Leth Lethal Weapons, etc. This interactive CD-ROM mist parody is more than reality. It will become your dreams. Hmm. 1995 oh, Windows game, tough. Mast. All right, number nine. This thing forever. Dungeon of the Algebra Dungeons. Nope, one more time. Dungeon of the Algebra Dragons. There we go. Yeah, right. This is a 1983 Commodore 64 game. A challenging and enjoyable way to develop your children's math skills. Mm. Enter the dark and foreboding dungeon, solving algebra problems to advance through each room. But make sure you give the right answer, or you'll be dealing with ghosts, spiders, and even the dreaded fire-breathing dragon. Solve for X, or suffer the hex. I think they should have swapped oh. the. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think they should have swapped right. the uh, the way to learn math there. The booby part might have right. been a good combo. <laughs> That's true. And then finally, number ten. Number ten is Dramatic Dream Team, Nico Nico Noiki, N Y O K I, Nico Noiki Noiki. Yeah. It's a pasta Gnocchi. made from potato. Wait, yeah, but that's... G, isn't there G's in that? G-N-O-C-C-I? Yeah, G-N-O-C-C-I. -E Dramatic Dream Team Gnocchi Gnocchi. This is a 2016 iOS game. Oh, my God. We always used iOS when we couldn't think of things. <laughs> Known for the mixture of hardcore brawling and comedy matches, the DDT Pro Wrestling League released this game for mobile users in Japan, featuring some of the most colorful characters, including Denchoku Dino, the world's strongest gay wrestler, and Joey Ryan, Master of the penis suplex bring death finishing move. That would be a death bringer. This is dramatic dream team. Oh, that's it. That's the description. Yes, that, that is it. Out? 1901. 1901. <laughs> 2016. <laughs> iOS game. Dramatic dream team. Gnocchi uh, gnocchi. Oh, look at the, the thing pulled out one of my silver hairs. That's what got hit. Wow. All right. Okay, so... Pull, pull out your answer sheet, which should already be out because we've been playing the game. Why the fuck should it be away? Uh, and, uh, and and this is your last chance. You, you only get pens the, down. Pen, pens, pens down. down feet, Monitor feet, feet open. Up. Yeah, absolutely. Now you're gonna correct along with us, and remember, you're on the honor system. Okay. What kind of system? Honor. The honor system. Honor. Okay. So I want you all to post your scores when honor. we're all done. Honor but, and duty. But 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 don't lie because it would be really easy to. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, number one. Number one was squashed. What did you write? I said false. What did you write? I said false. I also said false. Number one, squashed, is false. Hey! hey. I was just, it was too close to idiocracy, and the time was wrong. Sorry, Jay. Oh, yeah. Idiocracy. Yeah. Jay nice. Meow got that one wrong. Um, sorry, Jay. It's okay, Dan so I have nine more chances. Yeah. All right, uh, number two, Count Ducula in No Sacks, Please. We're Egyptian. Uh, what did you write? I said true. Jeremy, what did you write? I wrote true. I wrote false. Yeah. Uh, Count Dracula in No Sacks, Please, We're Egyptian is true. Yeah. yeah. That is exactly the premise of the show. Um, that's exactly what we've happening. Yeah. God damn it. Number three, the greatest night in history of our sport. What did you write? I said false. What did you write? I wrote true. I wrote false. God damn it. The greatest night in the history of our sport is false. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Three for three. Oh, no, I'm only two for three. Okay. I'm All right. two for three. Number four. A life M36 planet, Mother Brain, has been aliving. <laughs> uh, what'd you write? I said true. What did you write? I wrote false because Mother Brain. I, I, you know what? Be, because of Mother Brain. Oh, because of Mother Brain, I wrote true, I guess. Because true. Of, yeah. Wow. For me, it was because of Mother Brain and then the bad translation. I was like, no, it's got to be a knockoff. I a life M36 planet, it. Mother Brain has been aliving. It's true. Yes. Ah, God damn it. 
Okay. All right, moving along. We got number five, WWF hey, Betrayal. Polish Paul joined. Hey, hey what's up, Paul? What did you write? I said true. Jeremy, what did you write? I wrote true, and since Des did, I feel like I might have this one correct. I also wrote true. Number five, WWF Betrayal. True. Yeah. I actually think it I remember. It just sounds like such a hack premise. I think I remember <laughs> yeah. seeing. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right, number six, Ninja Grannies. What would you write? <laughs> Does. Oh, Ninja Grannies, I said true. All right, Jeremy, what did you write? I wrote true because I want it to be so. <laughs> I also wrote true because I feel like maybe we used this during one of our old episodes oh, one time. Oh, really? Uh, and as it turns out, number six, Ninja Grannies, true. Nice. nice. All right, moving on to number seven. Number seven, Ringside Angel. Does what did you write? I said false. Jeremy? False as well. This was one of the toughest ones for me, though. I, you know what? I wrote true. Uh, even though I've never heard of this, and I'm pretty, pretty good with the Mega Drive Genesis collection. Uh, and as it turns out, Ringside Angel is true. Uh, I, I had such a hard time with this one because the premise sounds so real. Yeah. I said, like, no, it can't be. Number eight, yeah. Mast. <laughs> the parody of Mist. Number eight, Mast. What did you write? I said true. Jeremy. I wrote true as well. Number eight, Mast. I also wrote true. And as it turns out, number eight, Mast. True. True. Oh, nice. And it was the specific specificity of the names that, that got me yeah. I, I think for me too and I was getting real nervous at this point because I was writing a lot of T's yeah. and not yeah. a lot of F's no, not me. number 9 Dungeon of the Algebra Dragons what did you write? I said false what did you I write? said false Dungeon of the Algebra Dragons I wrote true and Dungeons of the Algebra Dragons is indeed true god yeah. Damn it. Man, I'm killing it. This is great. So okay. always kill it. That, that tagline was what, what threw me. Like, I was going to say <laughs> yeah. true until I heard that. I'm like, oh, that's too clever by far. Yeah. That's something Alice must have thrown in there. But. <laughs> What's, uh, we, now, with one more to go, what is our total? Oh, right now? I, I we, we, two, where, where do we stand? Five, six. I have seven right, two wrong. Yeah, I lost. I mean, I got five right. We, we, no still, one, we still have one more to go. Yeah, that, all right. I with one five. more to go, I have eight. Des has seven, and Jeremy Damn. has five. With the final Bullshit. one being dramatic, <laughs> dramatic dream team gnocchi gnocchi. Yeah, <laughs> we're going with that. I don't know how it's really pronounced. It's probably gnocchi. Yeah, I know. Number ten. What did you write? I said false. I said true because I want gnocchi. I haven't had it in like six months because I cut out pasta okay. and wheat. I wrote true because the penis suplex bring death finishing move sounds like my my deal. That sounds very Japanese. It sounds well, that's kind of my deal as well. <laughs> and as it turns out, number ten dramatic dream team gnocchi gnocchi is true. Yeah, it's very true. Yay! Wow, I get nine out of ten. I'm so proud of myself. Uh, so I, have, I had the same thought with the other Japanese wrestling game. Like this has got to be true, but for both of them, I, I, I flipped it. So. Yeah, I lost. I got six. So how did you guys do? Let's check. Let's check the chat. I'm really Jay curious. Jay only got four right. Oh, Jay. <laughs> Sonic got seven. Uh, I don't know who else had what, and I missed a whole clump of stuff when uh, we were. The, the chat shows. totally died when we played this. They're so like, we're not fucking playing this yeah. shit. Hey, Thank Seraphim. You. I know you guys played uh, as a favor to me, but if any viewers actually enjoyed my list, thank you too. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. If anybody yeah, enjoyed this, you. like this is, I this is one of those things that we had to stop doing yeah. on, on the Gamescast because it was just took so much work. It was to, unbelievable. If, if we didn't get a list from Alessa or, or one of our other viewers, yeah. um, it took hours to make, and we'd all stress out about it. Yeah. And then on top of that, um, I'm like, all the scores are rolling in. I love seeing this now. <laughs> um, and and on top of that, like just the editing where I'd have to like go and type every single name and like and then like Keep tally the up scores. the scores. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. it was so stressful. So um so but this is doing this live is is way easier and a lot more fun. Uh, so uh so if you guys are interested in keeping this going, please let us know and uh, petition a list maybe to keep we, the list coming. Maybe we drop it down to five. Instead of 10. Or, or just make the descriptions shorter. Or less. Yeah. Uh, Texatron, the segment went over his head. Oh, wow. no. <laughs> Video game true or false? Real or fake? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, he, and here's the thing. The reason the, seg the reason the segment started is because uh, I'm a huge GameScoop fan, and I, yeah. and I, st and I still am. Uh, but I watch GameScoop. I kind of just kind of, like, listen to them talk in, like, in the background. Mm -hmm. And then when Video Game 20 Questions starts... I'm like, I get my popcorn, I sit down, oh, okay. I'm in front of the TV, and I'm like, I got this shit covered. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's my favorite segment. And we and we wanted to do something that was similar. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, Sci-Fi Game Cat Henry said, I guessed all true. Pretty close, right? Yeah. Weren't almost all of them true? Yeah, well, that was the other thing that started me having me, if you notice, my second half is where I get most of them wrong. There's only two false. Right, because I was second guessing myself. I'm like, there's so too many true ones. Too many true ones. Yeah, no, we used to do the same thing. Yeah. It used to stress me out. 
<laughs> nice, <Yeah>. Alas. <laughs> so yeah, well, but uh, by this rate, we'll probably get to it then. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, so that, that I think that pretty much does it for an yeah. episode of PSVR Games Cast Live. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for the, I mean, ridiculously generous donations today. Yeah, uh, crazy. I yeah. mean, yeah. very, very. Different. Thank you. Absolutely. Th- this, and thank you. We we, tr- we try not to push it too much. We try not to like talk about Patreon more than we have to. Um, but this, you know, this channel loses more money than it makes. I, I promise you on on a, on a monthly basis. Yeah. Um, and so I uh, so I'm, I'm I'm working around the clock. And so we really appreciate every single dollar that comes our way. So thank you very very much. Whether it be in donation, whether it be in Patreon, right, nice however it is. Uh, you guys have anything to add before we call it a day? Uh, no, I gotta go home and do the dragon algebra thing to do any kind of <laughs> dragon <math>. algebra thing <laughs> yeah. nice you and I gotta film a, I think it's time to film a Patreon episode yeah, yeah. 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 alright guys thank you so much that. what so if you want to see that <laughs> patreon.com slash without pearl games yeah alright guys thank you so much for tuning in PSVR Gamescast Live we'll see you tomorrow for viewer takeover and of course yep. we'll see you all week long with, with streams and, and all sorts of different videos yeah. Thursday nights 9.30 Amanda yes uh, streaming and um, so what's this week uh, we don't know yet but notifications are broken um, so Notifications are broken. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Uh, make sure you make sure you follow us on Twitter at Parole Games. Follow Desra at Desra. Follow Jeremy at All Names underscore Taken T A K N. Yep. And uh, and follow me at That Would Be Dark. And, um, and and we will try to keep you updated on as much yeah. as possible. Yeah, because we, we we're constantly getting comments from people saying they yeah. missed the entire stream or that notifications get sent out at the end of the stream. Sorry, yeah. YouTube is just totally busted it these is. days. So, so Amanda's what time? Nine thirty. Nine thirty on Thursdays. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Eastern Standard Time. And then Mondays, I'll be at nine Eastern Standard Time, roughly nine nine fifteen. If I'm not late. So from if you want to catch again. them, assume that they're going to be happening at those times, um, and don't wait on notifications. So yeah. If you don't see a notification. Don't think it's not happening. Yeah, just, just assume go on. that the notifications are broken. Yeah. If it's not happening, I myself will send out a tweet. So go over to Twitter because that's a way we communicate quite a bit. Yeah. You know. All right. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Thank you for all of your love. Yes. Thank you very much. We Everybody. love you. Right back. All of my love. <laughs> oh, no, they sue. So never mind. Ooh, Zeppelin. Oh yeah. Yeah. I. Uh... Bye. <laughs>